This is On the Road with the Love Golf Tour. On this trip, we explore the Park Mammoth Golf Club in Park City, Kentucky. Just outside the Mammoth Caves in central Kentucky, not too far outside of Bowling Green, you're greeted by one of the coolest drives I've ever experienced driving into a golf course. It's about a mile and a half long narrow road through the forest here, just covered by the canopy and you really kind of go out into the wilderness. Then you're, when you arrive, you see these, this bright green just in the middle of the forest. We just played the back nine here. And this was the 11th hole. One of the trademarks of this course is just a lot of short holes. You saw that hole was just 105 yards. It's playing into a really strong wind. And one thing I noticed about this course is just because it's so open in the middle of this, these Kentucky hills with the trees all around it, is you get these interesting wind gusts. You see the staff drive by and give us a wave there. This was one of the more difficult holes on the course. It's a hard dark dog leg left, about 420 yards. You can go really far right because the next hole's fairway connects to it. As you can see here, you can see multiple holes from this one view. We're here in, in February and the greens were amazing. The grass is all dormant and played perfect. Uh, to my understanding, the holes have a little more definition during the summer and spring and fall. The rest of the year, um, they grow up these these areas uh, between the holes and you get some deeper grass there. Just more of a look. This is kind of a trademark of this course, these somewhat straight bunkers next to the greens with some elevation. They're all relatively flat, but they all have these walls in front of them. It looks like they're trying to get the grass to grow pretty good because pretty heavily fertilized there and excellent sand really top-notch elite golf course level sand and the greens are like I said we're just rolling perfect I talked to the groundskeeper and he was telling me that they had them covered until the weather broke a little bit here for a few days fun. I think this drive went about 330 yards. I'm just about 20 yards short of the green here. So maybe about 310 yards. But a really fun hole. Started getting back on the right momentum here. Every hole is, is guarded by just one or two bunkers. Nothing too crazy, and uh, a lot of chances to run the ball up and be creative. I imagine when this place is, it's, it's rather bouncy today, but when it gets a little more bouncy, I imagine it's got to be one of the more fun courses around. Let's just approach to the 15th hole. never feel crowded here. All Everything is a very wide fairway with a lot of visibility. You can see multiple holes from just about every hole and uh, really dramatic views across, across the entire property. And, uh, this is the point where I was really enjoying these greens. I rolled in another one here. As I said, they were just perfect. It almost seemed fake how perfect they were. Sixteenth hole is just a dramatic par three, one of the highest points on the property. I thought, I thought it'd be a good, good time to uh, take a cruise. Give you just some nice footage here to to view the property from, and just enjoy the view. 
So I'll be quiet for a minute. You can just sit back and enjoy a really nice looking golf course. So this hole played about 248 yards today, par three. And you can see a bunker about 30 yards toward the green. It's because everything kind of bounces up. Uh, the hard part here, it was kind of into the wind today. So I tried hitting a five wood and I don't know how big your screen is, but you might see the ball roll just up on that front left of the green, our right side of the screen there. And uh, I'm gonna take a cruise back. You can see the camera crew here kind of see this dramatic elevation change back up probably about a 60 foot drop you can see all the detail this course is very well kept up we, we saw about seven eight grounds crew out here in february and I, this puck got away the screen was really quick and kind of still rolled down and we'll get that one to roll in so Made a boo-boo there as a bogey on the card. But such a great hole. 240-yard par three. 17th hole is a really cool par five. It was just so windy. We didn't get any camera footage on 17. The wind was just howling through the, this chute. And it's one of the more open, exposed courts, parts on the course. So couldn't get much footage on, on 17. But we need to 18. It's a short par four, it was playing back into the wind. Kind of an into and from the left was the wind. So not drivable today, uh, even though it was a little downhill. This is the 10th hole on the left. I'm sorry, the first hole, so we put the back down. It's the first hole on the left. And you can see kind of the landing zone here, about 200 to 290. And then it's back to an elevated green protected by this rather deep bunker. Green goes back up about seven, eight feet from the fairway, maybe more, maybe 15 feet from where I was. It is uh, pretty dramatic down and then back up to the green. You can't really see the, the green surface from your approach. This drive's gonna come up to the right side, just short of that trap. I don't think you'll be able to see it very well, but we'll just pause here and you can kind of enjoy the view.
our draw was run out of battery a little bit. As I said, it was super windy today. Uh, a lot of extra work to keep that thing steady. And the final approach of the day is the pitch here. This one just snuck on the front. Left about a 15 footer for birdie. Overall, I'd have to give this place a 4.8 out of 5. Um, awesome golf course. The conditions, maybe the best conditions I've ever played in for winter golf. Um, I can't imagine how good this place is in the summer. It's just, it was, it's, it's amazing. The grass is grown everywhere. Everything's filled in already. I understand that the course just opened last April. Um, the Golf Digest rated it the third best redesign of the year. Uh, last year so just an amazing property and um, I would definitely suggest stopping here it's just about maybe six minutes off of I-65 pretty close to the Mammoth Caves um, they're doing a, just a great job everyone had a great attitude here just uh, made us feel welcome the short time they were there just for nine holes and um, definitely highly recommend highly recommend great environment um, and uh, thanks for joining us, and don't forget to stay up to date on thelovegolftour.com. Take care.